The next part is to explain what is next. But before we can do that, we need to add the location to the magic page itself. And we do it here. And the reason for this, this is your central location. And so you're going to work out, let's say you're based in London, that's your central location. Then you're going to put London as your central location on here and work your way out. If you're going to pick Bristol, then you put Bristol as your central location. You know your own local area. And so wherever you're going to set the site up to, that's what you need to do. So in this case, I put a very small database in and I'm just going to start typing and I'm going to pick one of these here, Baldwin. And so I've said a 50 mile radius of Baldwin. Well, actually in, in the whole of the area, there's only 90 locations. So mm. it, you know, I, I could make this um, a 500 mile radius and because I've only got 90 locations in the database, that's all it's going to install. When you first build this, it's highly recommended to set this to a no more than a 250 location database, then come back in at a later date and up the mile radius, but about a month on. Think about it this way. Would you build a website with 2,000 pages in two days? The answer is no. And Google can tell that. Would you get away with building a 250 page lo location website in a week? Maybe. So just think of it that way that, you know, keep, the, keep this number low initially, maybe even 100. And then week two, 200, week three, 400, build it up gradually. There is an option on here to ins auto install. So if you've got 10,000 in your database for some reason, you can actually tick this box here, right? And we can pick the options here automatically. And it says, discard all installed locations to start from zero. That's if you've moved the site you know, onto a new domain and you've already got some installed. Right, or keep all the current locations up to this point and also install the rest of them. On average, you'll be picking option one. Then I'd come into here and I'd do, if I've got like 500 pages, do it over 90, 90 days. If you've got a lot more, you may want to do it a custom range over a year. Let's start with, with this. I'm not even going to worry about this auto option because I've only got 90, 90, pages. 90 pages, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So in, in these settings, you either can build all your pages at once, and if you have a huge database, and if you don't pull back the radius of the central location, then you're going to build, say, you know, 500 pages in, in 15 minutes, and Google's going to flag your, your website. Mm. So pay attention to what Stephen had just said in that create your radius to be small enough that you only get so many locations. And then you can use the auto build feature to build many pages starting both with a small amount of pages first and then drip feeding from there. But you have different flexibilities of how you can build and put it on autopilot to build. You can build one page a day for a year. Yeah. But these are the so, settings we're trying to, to just go over the basic settings so that you understand what you can do and what you can't do based on what you're looking at. Yeah. We're now going to click update and that's updated.